In this video, we'll be going over function notation f of x. So, so far when describing functions, we've used two letters to represent the independent and dependent variables. So, for example, if we take the function y equals x squared, just a normal parabola, the y represents the dependent variable and the x represents the independent variable. And all that basically means is that the variable y is a function of the variable x or y depends on x. Now another way that we can write y is with this notation f of x. So instead of writing y is equal to x squared, we could write f of x is equal to x squared. Now if we're supposed to give a proper definition for f of x, f of x is basically the value the function takes at a specific x value. And honestly, the easiest way to just remember what this means is that it's f of x is equal to y. It's just another way of writing y. So in this example, f of x is equal to x squared. That's the function we're dealing with. So if we wanted to find the value of f of negative two, let's say, Basically what they're asking for is what y value, what's the y value at an x value of negative two? So we would just plug in negative two for the x value in the function and we would get four. That's basically what that means. Or f of three is equal to three squared, which is equal to nine. So the coordinate on the function would be an x value of three and a y value of nine. That's how, um, that's how these relate. Now we don't always have to use f of x to represent the dependent variable and we don't always have to use x to represent the independent variable. Sometimes it's more appropriate to use different letters. So for example, let's say we have a scenario in which a car travels at 100 kilometers per hour. Give a distance function in terms of time. So let's say we let d equal distance. This is going to be in kilometers. Now d is the dependent variable and then t is equal to time. And this is in hours. Now a distance function in terms of time, because distance is the dependent variable, we could represent that as d of t. The distance as a function of t is equal to what? Well, we know that distance is equal to speed times time. And we know our speed is equal to 100 kilometers per hour, so we could put 100 here. And then time we just represent as t. Right, so the distance of the car in terms of time or as a function of time is equal to 100t. So if we want to know the distance that the car travels after three hours, 100 times three is equal to 300 kilometers. All right, so sometimes it's more appropriate to use a different letter. So in this case, we use d for distance and t for time. 